Easy winner. And now I'm going to do a seven minute workout with creepy music because you're a creepy surveillance camera stalker. All right. Get down from there, you creepy weirdo. Currently capturing my final VHSC tape. No more VHS, no more VHSC, which means I won't need the VCR anymore. And that's probably the oldest of my footage. And you know, I remember at the time thinking, old people, they're always embarrassed by their old pictures of themselves and their old style. We're not gonna do anything embarrassing. Everything we do is cool. Well, I'm here to tell you that's not true. I think it's inevitable. You're always gonna be embarrassed by your past. Why is that? Next step, I gotta capture these high eight tapes. They're like regular eight, but higher. Just ordered a camera that can allow me to do that. Those are a little bit later on, beginnings of my band, Riffless Pony Club, in college. Oh man, there's probably some embarrassing, maybe incriminating stuff on there that would ruin my political career. Now then, I still haven't made coffee yet. So I asked you on Twitter how I should make my coffee, and Wes said to make it sarcastically. Yeah. Real good suggestion, Wes. So like, you're totally gonna wanna put water in the kettle. Now comes my favorite part, the scooping. I love it so much! Or in the hot water. I'm like, not at all stirring right now. Now it's time to push down on the French press. That's exciting. Mm. Wow, terrible job making the coffee, Craig. You suck. And now, whoop. And now it's time to go for a jog. I was supposed to change into my jogging clothes, but I'm already wearing my jogging clothes. That's unfortunate for a couple of reasons. All right. So I'm taking you with me as backup, just in case we run into some people and we have to partake in some fisticuffs. So, I'm just gonna put you in my pocket. I see a mom pushing a stroller up here. Could be tough. Get ready to fight. This time. That was close. So I didn't get into any fights, but I did run into one shady character. Hi, Craig. Hi, David. Heading to Playlist Live tomorrow in Orlando, and I just started thinking about conventions in general and panels and workshops. And while these panels can be useful and can be very helpful, and you can find out tips and things that might make things easier, there's a danger that you're just gonna follow too many standards. My general philosophy is to do, do weird stuff. Try to do things out of the ordinary, things that excite me. Because if we're at the point where standards are emerging, that means there's a lot of people doing this and it's hard to stand out. So utilize any tips you get from conventions and articles you read as a way to facilitate being weird or just doing what you want to do. Just don't take it as gospel, but you can take this as gospel. I'm gonna lay down my burden down by the riverside. There, you're welcome. Basically what I'm saying is there's no right or wrong answer. You're gonna have to find your own way. You're gonna have to do it and find your own way. But panels could be helpful, especially if I'm on them. Okay, I didn't mean to open that backwards. I'm gonna turn that around now and do some editing. Oh yeah, you may notice my wife back there. She's visiting a friend. I'm doing some work because I'm not a friendly person. Biking the wrong way down a one way Cause I'm stupid, yeah. Now I'm biking on the sidewalk even though I'm not supposed to. I'm finally biking legally now the way I'm supposed to. A sham on a sexy lady. So, we were planning on starting up a fire in this fire pit here later, but it is sort of raining. It better sort of stop raining, so we can do that. Mitzi, hey, look at her. She's freaking out, sort of. So, debating making fire happen. Still want it to happen, but it's raining a little bit. We 
didn't start the fire He was never burning Cause the earth was spreading All of that rainwater It ruined the get together I hate stupid weather Can't wait to move somewhere where it never rained <laughs>